up my Taurus? What's up Taurus? We're going to pull some energy for next week, October the 8th through the 14th. Let's find out what's going on with my Taurus and love finance relationships, okay? Let's get them some guidance and help them be overall abundant. Dear Lord, dear spirit, please help me get some guidance for the sign of Taurus for next week, um, October the 8th through the 14th. Please give them some overall guidance of love, finance, career, relationship. Just help them find out what they need to do to guide them to be overall abundant and happy next week, October the 8th through the 14th. Thank you so much for all your messages in the past, present, and future. Please give us some guidance for the sign of Taurus. Thank you. What's going on, my Taurus? Please give me some guidance for Taurus. Oh, goodness. Oh, my gracious. I don't even know if I want to accept this. That's too much. I, I'm not. I'm not accepting it. <laughs> That was too much heavy energy, young. That shit just made my whole stomach drop, son. I'm about to, you know, we about to do a real good shuffle. And if that shit come back out, we just going to have to deal with it. If that's what the real shit is going on, we, we just going to have to accept it. But God damn, that shit just made my stomach drop, young. God damn, Taurus. All right, let's, let's, let's hope that we can get some different energy going on up in here. That was financial, deceit, anxiety. God damn. That was a lot. Okay, come on, spirit. What do we got here? What is this? First um, chakra, Archangel Michael. Okay, did it come out like this? I'm keeping it like this because I'm feeling the need to be like that. Hold on. It must be something cracking off because, look, busting the windows out your cars playing. What is going on, Taurus? Y'all ready to fuck somebody up? <laughs> what is this? The door to value, all right? Give me one more card, spirit. Looks like we got two. What is this? The sixth chakra, Archangel Metron, and strategy, all right? So somebody need to use their third eye chakra, and they need to strategize about what the hell's about to happen. And they need to open up a door to value. They need to, they need to see the value in something, all right? That's what we gonna do. All right. Uh, 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 All right, Spirit, please give us some divine guidance directly from God in regards to Taurus for next week, um, October the 8th through the 14th. Please give Taurus some guidance um, from Spirit, from God in regards to love, finance, career, relationships, and just overall abundance and happiness. Please give us some guidance for the sign of Taurus. Thank you so much for the 8th of October through the 14th. Thank you so much. But I think that I deserve a smile. Looks like Taurus is about to open up that third eye. You know, that that archangel metron that 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 is guiding you to open up your your third eye think about what you you want your life to look like in the next couple of months by the end of the year write it down think about it strategize okay you need you need to have a, a clear cut plan if you want this 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 door to this money and this financial prosperity to come to you you see this door is trying to open for you you got to you got to figure out exactly what it is. Open up that third eye. Open up that third eye. Okay? Get some visualization. Write it down. Get a um, a vision board. Strategize. Get a vision board as to what you want your life to look like. Strategize. Okay? One more shuffle. Keep getting stuck. Y'all stuck about something. Y'all stuck on something. People feel this. Say you love them and zone me. What is this? Crystal clear intentions, didn't I tell you? And prosperity, I told you. You need to have crystal clear intentions as to what you want. Write it down. Visualize it. Make Draw a picture or something. Strategize. Crystal clear intentions. If you want that door to prosperity, which is right above the door to value, okay? <laughs> Mm, 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 mm. All right. 
So let's get um some daily guidance. Hey Spirit, dear God, dear ancestors, please give me some daily guidance for the sign of uh, Taurus for next week, October the 4th through the, I'm sorry, October the 8th through the 14th. Thank you so much for all your messages in the past, present, and future. Please give Taurus some guidance for October the 8th through the 14th. Please give them some daily day guidance that they can focus on throughout their journey next week. Please give them some guidance on their day-to-day -day journey. Please give Taurus some guidance. For next week, October the 8th through the 14th. Oh, be honest with yourself, okay? And a shower of abundance, I told you. You gotta be honest with yourself. Be honest. Strategize. Have clear intentions if you want this shower of abundance and prosperity to come into you, my dear. Okay, let's find out what's going on with y'all in love. And then we want to find out your overall life purpose. What you need to do to focus in on your life purpose. All right. Spirit, God, universe, please give me some overall guidance for the sign of Taurus in regards to love for next week, October the 8th through the 14th. Thank you so much for all your messages in the past, present, and future. Please give Taurus some guidance and love. Please give Taurus some guidance and love for next week, the 8th through the 14th of October. Thank you so much for all your messages in the past, present, and future. Thank you so much. Ooh, wedding. Ooh. Ooh, now. Ooh. Who your boo is? Who your boo is? All right, give me one more. Cool. Hold on, there's too many cards. I'm taking this one. You deserve love. Didn't I? Look. Mm -mm. Hold on. I think a little rush. Hold on. Let me turn it up. I think I got a little crush on you. Ah, Taurus, so you got a crush on, boo? Yes. Y'all better strategize how y'all want that love to come in because it's coming in. Yes. Say, na, 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 na. Na, 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 Taurus. Na, 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 na. All right, Spirit, please give me some guidance in regards to their life, their life purpose. What is Taurus's life purpose? Please give me a card for their life purpose, please. Looks like some financial prosperity and love is coming into them. You got to be honest with yourself about something. You got to be honest with yourself about Taurus. Hmm? Spirit, please give me some guidance in regards to Taurus's life purpose. What do they need to focus on next week to guide them closer to their life purpose? Travel. Okay? Travel. Give me one more card, Spirit. What are they traveling to? Travel has a lot to do with this door to value and prosperity. You're probably going to have to travel out. And you want to be doing a lot of traveling in your career sector, okay? But that's going to bring you that 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 prosperity, that abundance that you're looking for. Body work. Are you a um, you know, do you do uh, personal training? You do physical therapy? You know, maybe you're about to be traveling, you're about to be a personal physical therapist or, you know, something like that for an athlete or somebody that, you know, you need to travel with them, okay? So, I think I got a rush. All right, so let's tap into this. So, I am going to read from the book here. Okay, these are energy oracle cards from um, Chandra Ann Taylor. Because I want to figure out exactly what... Arc, uh, the first chakra, Archangel Michael, is trying to say to us, okay? So let's see what it says. Number 
All right. The book says Michael holds a beautiful globe of red energy at the first chakra, which is located at the base of the spine. Okay. This is the place where, let me turn the page, excuse me. Your sense of stability and security is stored. When this card is upright, it reveals that your energy is flowing freely regarding these issues. Even if you had a problem with feeling secure in the past, these challenges are beginning to be resolved at this time. Archangel Michael is with you, bringing you strength and personal stability. You are capable of taking action and moving forward on your path. So allow yourself to um, feel increasing with faith in your own power and security now and always, okay? Because guess what? The door to value is opening, okay? The door to value is opening. So let me read exactly what this means as well. Because um, as you can see, you need, and I told you before, I already know what these cards mean because I just had this card. It's telling you to strategize and open up your third eye. Strategize, excuse me. Strategize and open up your third eye, okay? So that you can have clear, crystal clear intentions of where you're going in life. And, and, and where you want your future to take you. This is also telling you, you where you want your future to take you. So anyway, let me let me jump back in. Because I'm jumping all over there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, in, in regards to the door of value, okay, this card shows a door with a golden coin on it, opening to a place that is filled with light and bright uh, potential. Let me, sorry, okay. All right, where did I go, where did I go, where did I go? My bad, y'all, my bad, y'all. Okay, so again, this card shows a door with a golden coin on it, opening to a place that's filled with light and bright potential. Money coins, jewels fly towards, um, towards, fly towards you through this door opening, uh, revealing a golden city beyond. All of this points to the potential of exciting new beginnings and expansions where work, money, and where work and money are concerned perhaps a new opportunity is totally unexpected or perhaps it's something you've been working towards for quite a while either way keep your eyes open for new beginnings to appear in your life know that anything you value may open um know that anything you value may be open to you now remain conscious and creative and get ready to step through the door okay so like i said this is guiding you to have strength, to have strength and know that, you know, the door to value, prosperity and abundance is about to come. It's about to come. It is surely about to come. OK, this says prosperity. Your material needs are provided as you will follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality. What did I tell you to open up your third eye? Manifest. Think about what it is that you want in the future. What you want your future to look like. Write it down. Make a vision board. Put it above your bed every day so that you can see it every morning when you wake up and every night before you go to sleep. So you can have clear, crystal clear intentions. Be clear about what you desire and focus upon it with unwavering faith. Okay? Have a strategy. Have a strategy and plan. Like I told you, vision board. Okay? Know your strength. Okay? Know your strength. Use your strength and your abilities. Focus on what it is that you want, okay? Because this door is opening. You see all that money and shit falling out? <laughs> it's about to pop for you, Taurus. Do you hear me? It's about to pop, okay? A shower of abundance. To heal your financial situation, give us your worries and con um, concerning money. We will guide you in order to show you how to create and accept abundance as we work together. Okay? Your financial situation will heal as fast as you allow it. Do you hear what they're telling you? Do you hear what they're telling you? Strategize. 
Have clear-cut intentions, okay? So you know what you want, okay? Strategize, okay? Make a vision board. Have something tangible where you can see it every day to remind yourself that this prosperity is coming. It's coming. It's coming. You have to have clear focus on it. Clear cut intentions. Okay? And be honest with yourself. Be honest with yourself. Look into your heart and you will know the truth of this situation. It is safe to admit the truth to yourself for we will support and guide you through any necessary changes. Lean upon us for courage and the strength to take good care of yourself. Focus only upon your true desires and they will come to you upon the angel's wings. Okay? Be honest with yourself. Be honest with yourself. Know and have clear, clear cut intentions as to what it is that you want to achieve in your life. And just know that these goals and this stuff, because this is finances here, that a lot of travel is probably going to have to, you know, your life purpose involves travel. Yes, look. Wings. 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 You are about to take flight. All of this shit is talking about how financial prosperity and abundance is coming into you. You have to get to a point where yourself, where you are being honest with yourself and you recognize that this big change is coming to your into your life and you need to be ready for it. Because guess what you've been asking for? This is what you've been manifesting. So you've been manifesting this. Make sure that you're ready. And go balls the fuck in. Go balls the fuck in. Okay? Be honest with yourself. There's certain things in your life that you knew. This could have happened a long time ago. This could have happened a long time ago. But you were slipping. You were slipping. Do I want to do clarification to find out why? No, I need my business. Anyway, be honest with yourself, okay? It's going to be a lot of travel. And um, your life purpose inv involves body work, such as massage ther therapy, energy healing, physical therapy, or exercise training. Again, wings, you are taking flight. And like I said, I have a feeling like someone is like a personal trainer or something like that. I feel like you're someone is going to end up traveling with like an athlete or something or something or someone there, there there's going to be a lot of travel regarding this work and i feel like it has to do with physical therapy like maybe you're going to be like a physical therapist to athletes or something like that guess what don't hold yourself back mentally in your mind about that shit because guess what it can happen it, it look the door to value to that can happen if that's what you really want. I feel like this person is doubting themselves, like that's what they really want to do, but they don't believe in themselves for some reason. Like they're doubting yourself. If you don't get yourself together, if you do not um tap into your chakras and get yourself together and believe in yourself and come on and stop the bullshit, boy. If you do not stop it, if that's what you want. Get something tangible. Write it down. I want to travel with athletes. I want to. I want to be the physical therapist for the Wizards. I want to be the physical therapist for blah 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 blah. Whatever it is, write that shit down. Stick that shit up on the wall, like I said. And in regards to love, hmm, is love about it? it what's going on? What's going on? You deserve love, honey. And a wedding is... I'm, I'm about to clarify some shit. I'm sorry, because I'm nosy as fuck. How many minutes am I in this? It's 19 minutes. I got time, bitch. I got time. <laughs> Please make love to me. All right. So, I'm going to do a little bit of clarification in this reading. Because I am nosy. I want to know about this marriage. And this, this, this wedding. This love that's coming to you. You need to be honest with yourself about that, too. Get yourself together, okay? Strategize. Strategize what type of love it is that you want to come into your life, okay? And make sure that you're fairly and make sure that you're fairly balanced. So when this love comes in, comes into your life, that you're ready for it. You're ready to really receive this love, okay? 
Because someone is going to come through and shower some abundance of love to you. They're going to shower this love on you. You just make sure that you're ready for it. Please um, clarify this, um, this wedding card for me. Please give me some guidance in regards to this wedding. What type of love? Give me some information about the love that's coming in the Taurus. Thank you so much, Spirit. Give me some insight on this love that's coming in the Taurus. Please, Spirit. Hmm. Okay, this might be somebody from your past. This might be somebody from your past. Maybe that's why they're telling you to be honest about certain things that happened in the past. Be honest with yourself. Something happened in the past and, you know, you worried about certain things that happened. You, you're looking at those cups that were spilled. But there's two other cups behind you. Okay? There's still some hope here in this situation. But you have to lift your head up. You have to lift your head up. Okay? And know that you deserve love. And have clear intentions in regards to this love. And, I, and, and, and make sure that you learn lessons in regards to whatever happened in the past. And strategize. Strategize if you want this love to come back to you. And guess what's right under at the, at the bottom of the deck? The Ace of Pentacles. Trying to bring forth a solid offer. A solid offer. Okay? Alright? And right under that is the Two of Cups. In the reverse. So, you know, what I'm basically getting is that there was a relationship in the past. And, you know, the bond was brought. Look, <laughs> the two of cups and the lovers. The two of cups and the lovers. <laughs> and then the knight of pentacles. Yes, listen. Let me tell you something. All right? So, this was a relationship that y'all already had. You already was in a relationship with this person, okay? You were already in a relationship with this person. And it fizzled out for some reason because there were some things that went on in the past and the love was lost, but it's it's not all lost. There is still some love there. And you really want to come forth and offer a solid offer. But you know right now the love is stagnant because, you know, of the stuff. Because look, look, it's... Two people with two cups of love that the Lord is trying to pour into it. But it's upside down, so all of the love is falling out. Okay? But this is your soulmate. This is your soulmate. This is your soulmate. You've been going through a lot of mental turmoil about the things that you've done in the past. Okay? But you're coming out of this. You're, you're, you're coming out of this mental turmoil. You're starting to... Be honest with yourself about the things that happen. And you realizing that this person was your do it to value. That you truly value this person. You truly value this person. And maybe you're willing to travel to show this person how much you really do love them. And your intentions is clear now. Your intentions is clear. And you're ready to shower your love on this person abundantly. Because the next card that popped out was the Knight of Pentacles. You know? You really want to rush forward and give this, this this solid offer. You really do. You love this person. You just have to go through some shit to... Sometimes we, we, got, we, we lose things and then we realize how important it was once it's gone. Okay? So let's um, clarify this. You deserve love. Please clarify you deserve love for me, Jesus. The Knight of Cups. Yeah. The Knight of Cups. You want to come forth and you want to offer this cup of love. You want to come through and offer this cup of love. All right? Maybe in the past, you know, you were being a whore. Okay? The Knight of Wands... <laughs> In the reverse, this is someone that was in and out. In and out. Just a player. That's what happened. You know, but I feel like you you might have 
learn your lesson from that shit. What's this? The King of Cups in reverse. And the Two of Wands in reverse. Why is that? Why is that? Do you not realize that you deserve love? I feel like this person is... You want to rush forth and offer this love to this person. You do. And you know that you deserve love, but you know you the shit that you did in the past. This shit here that you did in the past wasn't cool. And you know it wasn't cool. And that's why you were like this. You were suffering from that mental turmoil and anguish, but you, you coming out of that right now. And you want to take a progressive step forward, but you just, you still got all of this shit in, in the back of your mind and just all of the stuff that you did. And, and, and you're not quite sure. You're not quite sure. Um, hmm. Clarify this. Um, to Ooh. Why is everything in the fucking reverse? Even the fucking, the Ace of Wands. And the King of Swords is in the reverse. Why is everything in the reverse, young? Mm, mm, mm. Y'all give me a second because I I need to look into this a little bit more. Hold on. I'm going to look for my little clarification page to understand exactly what all of this means. Because the Knight of Wands, like, you deserve love, but the Knight of Wands in reverse, though, and even, and even like, oh, my goodness. Okay, anyway, let me, and y'all forgive me because I'm still learning tarot. So, a lot of times I do, that's why I was recording off of Snapchat before because I could self-edit instead of just doing a, a full run through, you know what I'm saying? I can just do little, little one minute clips that way. If I had to go back and look up something, you know what I'm saying? Y'all really didn't see it. Um, but okay, so the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Wands in reverse. Let's see what this says because the Knight of Wands in the upright, this is someone, this is like a sudden arrival, a great new beginning, you know what I'm saying. This someone felt like in the upright. This is someone felt like it was unfinished business. You know what I'm saying? This is still like someone that's a, like a whore, though. This is still someone that's a whore, and I, I believe in the reverse. This is even even worse. <laughs> like, oh my gracious! Hold on, I'm still looking. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm back. I'm sorry. I have to come and get clarification and shit like that. But yeah, under this, you deserve love. It makes all of this clear. Like, look, you deserve, you feel like you deserve love, okay? And you want to go back to this relationship in the past because, you know, you feel like this is, y'all are soulmates. Y'all are soulmates. But clearly above the soulmate, I mean, it's it was a love loss. Because you fucked up. You fucked up. And it's like, yeah, you do want to offer, you do want to make a solid offer to this person and everything. But you, 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 you know you fucked up. You know you fucked up. You know you fucked up. And this over here is telling you why you fucked up. Because you were a fucking asshole. You feel like you deserve love. And you are lovable. Spirit is telling you that you are lovable. But you got to change. You got to change because you did this person dirty as shit. Okay? You want to offer this cup of love. But you know good and goddamn well that you are still... In this king, in this um knight of wands reverse, this is a player. This is someone that has no intentions of being in any type of solid type of commitment at all. They are in and out. Okay, they are in and out with their dick. Okay, not only that, but you got the king of cups in reverse. The king of cups. This is someone that's possibly dealing with like substance abuse. This person could be an alcoholic. You're very moody, egotistical. 
And that, you know, and it, that's being clarified by someone that is, you know, af afraid to make changes. They're, they're scared to take this world in their hand and move forward. Okay? And leave behind shit that is no longer serving them in an appropriate manner. You're stagnant. You're not even really trying to make changes. You really did not change from this pouring ass, fucking moody ass, just unreliable type of energy. Like, you're unreliable emotionally. You're unreliable emotionally, and you be out in the streets too much, okay? And you're not willing to change, all right? And then this is another a, 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 a card of stagnation saying that an offer really cannot truly be made. You don't understand what I'm saying? Because there are blockages there. Because you are still the, the, knight, the king of swords in reverse. Like, you are very cutting and just like if you don't get your way and just things just like you can be a fucking asshole you understand and you were cheating and dogging this woman out that's why spirit is asking you to be honest with yourself okay you want to get your you want your you want your wife back but you know what the fuck you did yeah that shit right there just made me mad Cause it was like you, you oh that just made me mad y'all that just made me mad so for whatever Taurus woman that is dealing with this energy here if if someone tries to come back into your life someone from your past this person ain't changed this person did not change at all but you need to know that you deserve love and that true love and prosperity is coming to you it will come to you okay let me put this to the side because that shit just pissed me off for my ladies for my ladies because that was that was some dude that was some dude that was some dude for my ladies please clarify spirit for my ladies for my female um taurus please clarify this wedding card please clarify this wedding card for my um female taurus the fool okay just know that all right true love is coming to you all right and you have so much faith in it you have blind faith in the fact that true love is coming to you okay that you're willing to walk off a goddamn clue you ain't even looking where you going like you this bullshit right here you left this bullshit behind that shit got cut out of your motherfucking life you left this idiot the fuck out of your life, okay? So I'm sitting that shit to the side. You know that true love is coming to you, and you're 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 walking through in faith, okay? Let's clarify that you deserve love. Clarify that for my ladies. Clarify that for my my Taurus ladies, my strong Taurus ladies, because you went through a lot. Strength. Have strength. Continue to move forward with strength. Because you deserve love and it is coming to you. It is coming. It is coming. Give me one more um card from the angels, uh, um, the romance angels. For my ladies, for my female Taurus. Please give me, please give me some guidance for my female Taurus. Because girl, you went through a lot. You went through a lot with this asshole. This did that person was a fucking piece of shit. Oh my god. And they have the audacity to have substance abuse issues and shit going on too. Are you fucking kidding me? I did Oh my god. All right, spirit. I did, what I say very soon. This is coming to you very soon. Continue to have that faith and know that it's coming to you and have strength. Okay. That was an unrequited love. This shit right here was an unrequited love. This person did not love you. This person did not love you. A new love is coming to you very soon. This is not love. This is unrequited. Okay? It doesn't matter, okay, if they're crying over what happened in the past. It doesn't matter if they really do want to offer you a, 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 a solid offer. This person has not changed. Okay? Yeah, they got... I mean, clearly, you see that they... I mean, yeah, clearly, that they're, they're, the love, all love wasn't lost. There's still two cups back here. But this person has not changed. They still doing the same shit. Okay? Still. 
Still, this was an unrequited love. Be honest with yourself about that. If this person comes back, be honest with yourself. Be honest. Because this isn't this is not it. You know that there's a love. A true love and a wedding coming to you. And you believe it so much that you have blind faith. It's coming very soon, beloved. You deserve love. Just have strength and continue to hold on. Do not deal with anything or any fucking body that shows you any fucking signs of this bullshit here. Because if you knew better, you do better. Be honest with yourself. You know that that shit was unrequited. There wasn't enough love or attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Fuck that shit. Be honest with yourself. That wasn't love. Okay? So anyway, because I'm, I'm irritating now. <laughs> and right under the deck, it says it's safe for you to love. It is safe for you to love. Open up your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. The highest energy of all. Okay? The highest energy. And it's coming very soon. So continue to have strength and have that blind faith, beloved. Because it's coming. Y'all be good.